All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends, and don't forget to download the video right after we finish. Today, our topic about racism, and specifically against Asian. Racism is something ugly human beings suffer from for a long, long time. The racism have many reasons, and all of them, they are not for the benefit of mankind. Many of us grow in a society where being told things which is not right. In the Middle East, racism is something very normal. To the point nobody even notice, they don't even know what the word racism. Actually, I heard that last week, uh, the first ever court uh, order against somebody in Saudi Arabia, the first time ever, they use the word racism which means for the last 1400 years since the time of Muhammad Muslims don't even use that word because racism is not recognized by them it's a practice and it's not bad we have a hadith where Muhammad he said according to Muslims there's no difference between the black and white, but this is hadith. It's called the last sermon, and you know, it was rejected hadith for the last fourteen hundred years, and lately, the Muslims they claim it's a good hadith because it's fit with the nature of the you know, uh, of of the wave of uh, uh, like uh, civil life today. But this hadith is not authentic. It's not a true. In other way, it is fabricated. But in order to make you believe that this hadith is good, then they have to say it is. So there is a sheikh who is uh, who died just a few years ago. He decided that this hadith must be sahih. Why would you not know? But this hadith was always bad. This is a question. Somebody asking a question about how authentic the last sermon of the Prophet and the answer is so clear that this hadith is not trustworthy and here you will see uh, they say this hadith as in Musnad Ahmad is Mursal you can go and see how many times the Muslims they say to me if the hadith is Mursal we don't accept it but this hadith just because it's fit with the propaganda today they have no problem with it and they say it's good even though it says Mursal to make it simple anything will help the propaganda of Islam today they accept it if something will make Islam look bad they will reject it but you cannot play that game for long I found many websites speaking about uh, racism made by Muslims and the Muslims here, as an example, in this website, they are comparing between their system and our system. Their system and our system. And here you see right away the sign of racism. Because the second you see our system, their system, it's mean our is us, them is them. So you don't believe in us as one mankind. What system? System of Islam? So look what this guy, he says in this article, or this Muslim website. Islamic viewpoint on racism a society is doomed to failure when it's based in ignorance etc okay well all of Islam is based on ignorance music is haram reading books other than the books of Allah is haram yoga is haram chess is haram Playing any instrument is haram. Painting is haram. I mean, what is left? Just you, you know, like you, you sleep, you have sex with your wife, and you, you know, and you pray to Allah. And you are talking about ignorance. This is why Muslim countries are beyond cave time. And then the Muslim they say to us, like you know, in certain time, we are the one who import science to the world. That's absolutely big fat, fat lie. Muslims and I am an Arab. We occupy many countries, and those countries are very well advanced. 
and we destroy their civilization the civilization of Egypt was exist long before Islam and since Islam came and look what happened to Egypt look up what happened to Iraq the Babylon look what happened to Syria look what happened to Jordan look what happened to uh, to Morocco look what happened to Tunisia those they used to be flourishing countries since Islam came everything collapsed look what happened to Constantinia look what happened to Alexandria the biggest library in the world was burned by Muslims so the Muslim here is trying to compare between their system and our system and supposedly the system of Islam is a better system so he says to you a Muslim stand firm fight all forms of oppression what a big fat lie Islam itself is an oppression according to Islam a Christian is not equal to a Muslim according to Islam if a Muslim kill a Christian he will not be killed according to Islam if somebody want to be a Christian kill him so what do you mean against all oppression according to Islam women are not equal to the man according to Islam if you are a <laughs> A person don't uh, don't agree with Muhammad you will be slaughtered immediately so look how they they fabricate articles and they say Islam is against all kind of oppression when the last time we saw free speech in Islamic countries as long you are against oppression you see countries who practice some such a thing then we should have a free speech I mean very simple way to examine any society if there is a freedom of speech that's mean this guy is staying the truth when the last time we heard that in Saudi Arabia in Kuwait in Bahrain in Qatar in Emirates, there's a, spe a, free, uh, a speaker corner do you understand what I'm saying guys do you see how how they how they fabricate just to fool you and you know like you are a Western and you believe like okay yeah Islam is against oppression you're right Few months ago, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia allowed the Muslim women to drive a car. And guess what? She cannot drive a car still until now. It was just a fake order. Why? Because they said, okay, the, 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 the family have to agree. <laughs> so what the point? While women they are driving cars, since cars are started, you Muslims just now allow the women to drive a car. And yet we fight oppression. The Quran says beat women, chapter three, uh, chapter four, verse number thirty-four. The Prophet says, kill who changes religion. So look how they I mean it's amazing how they try to fool us with those articles. Now and then he quote for us a hadith which Muslim they keep repeating but this hadith is false and we just showed you we just showed you the answer of Muslims about it that the Prophet said there's no difference between the black and white that's a big fat lie Muhammad even he made fun of the black people he said about the head of Bilal Ra'su Zabiba how you say somebody how you say some such a thing about 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 a black person raising head so here you will see how they try to fabricate and then ancient Greek and Roman and then Jewish and Christians let us see what they want to say about us the Jews and the children and the Christians before the advent of Islam saw themselves as a chosen family of God they believe themselves to be special first is the this is the biggest fat lie ever this is the biggest fat lie ever when we say we are a children of God does not mean we are the only one as a children of God anyone can be children of God all mankind are children of God but if you don't want to call him your father then this is not his yet your father my God he cannot force you to call him father but if you want you can call him right away so look how they fabricate in the same time just to show you how they lie they say Jewish and Christians they say that it's the Quran says that 
the Quran says that Allah he favored the Jews upon mankind he quote for us chapter 3 verse number 75 and among the people of scriptures he who uh, uh, of you entrust him in a great amount of wealth he will return it to you and among them who if you entrust him with a single silver coin he will not return it okay and then this is will prove what he just attacked us and then he says that we are we are unclean and we are liars and we are the worst of the creatures let us go to the Quran and get the liars busted in the Quran we will find the following the first thing Muhammad he said he tried to divide between the Christians and the Jews and he said the most nice people to you are those who they are called the Christians okay and who is the most ugly one to Islam the one who called themselves Jews that is discrimination the most evil people to you is those who call themselves Jews he was just telling us that Islam does not teach racism every single Jew in Islam is evil isn't this what racism is every single Jew in Islam is a bad yes Muhammad he said and I'm saying yes here according to Islam Muhammad he said that judgment day will not come until you kill all the Jews and if a Jew he tried to hide behind a rock or a tree kill him and we can find the hadith immediately so nobody will say we are making things up you see it so you, not only Islam teach racism Islam teach violence against a race the Jews are those are the by the way the word here is not the Jews those are the children of Israel it's an ethnic group Islam teach cleanse genocide against an against an ethnic why just because they rejected Muhammad and Muhammad himself he killed hundreds and thousands of them there is a Jew behind me come and kill him but Islam remember Islam don't teach oppression and Islam does not differentiate between people what about Islam teach that the Christians are bad you see here he says the most nice to you is those who call themselves Christians but in different verse it says that Allah he made us nice to humiliate us we are not nice because we are nice Allah he forced us to be nice so we'll be humiliated chapter 3 verse 112 is that racism yes all the Christians Allah he cursed them and made them humiliated and by the way this is a proof that Allah is a false God because the one is humiliated now is not the Christians I mean, listen to a speech of Trump. He keeps saying, do you want me to protect you? Pay me. This is a humiliation. Every day. And then we find Muhammad saying tons of a statement. But as long as they said to us on the website that the Jews and the Christians, they claim that they are children of God, uh, of God and they are being favored by God, just to show you how the Muslims hide the stories for you or from you. It is the Quran said that Allah He favored the Jews over upon my own mankind. Read it. Chapter 2, verse number 47. Oh, children of Israel, remember my favor wherewith I favored you hmm? 
favored you upon who upon all the creatures so in the article they are saying the Jews they are racist they think they are the chosen people of God well if this is really proven that the Jews are racist for believing they are chosen people of God that's mean your God is racist do you see how we get them busted if this is the scale to prove that the Jews are racist because they say they are a chosen people of God okay here we go the verse in the front of you so do you see how they lie no shame Muhammad he in different hadith he said and he made it clear how he created the white and the black the Prophet said, Allah Messenger said, Allah created Adam, and when he created him, he struck him, he struck his right side, so, so, shoulder, and from there emitted from it the white of spring, as if they are white ants, and he struck the left shoulder, and there emitted from it the black of spring, as if they were circle. And then he said, to those who had been emitted from the right shoulder to paradise and I don't mind and he said to those who they are emitted from the left shoulder to hell and I don't mind so according to Muhammad Allah created all the black people to go to hell and all white people to go to heaven and this is very sahih hadith not like the fabricated one so how they say to us the Prophet said there's no differentiation between the black and white in the last sermon and the same guy saying this one of them is lying this is an authentic hadith Islam as a racist religion make fun of the look of the Asian this is your prophet saying the following the last hour will not come until people wearing shoes of hair fight against you having their faces like a hammered shield who are they those the hadith says the asian in different hadith he named them and he add the word the turk and the turk at that time not like the turkish today who came to constantinia and raped the women and they got the blonde girls the blonde are not the turkish those are not those are the children of the women they rape the turkish are a pure asian the Turkish are the Mongols, the children of Jankiz Khan. Muhammad, he never thought that those people will come, they will convert to Islam. He, he says that this is a sign of the judgment day. And as you see, he's making fun of their look. And you know, beauty have nothing to do with ethnic group. There's women who they are black and they are extremely beautiful, a lot more beautiful than white women. And the same as Asian. All of us, we are creatures of God and we all of us were beautiful for him at least. What Muhammad he said about the black people? Read carefully. The Prophet said, listen and obey your chief. He asked a slave, his name is Bilal, to lead a group because he is strong and he is not black people, they have a strong body. So Muhammad here, he ordered him, okay, you lead those guys, you know, you can do good with them. But those white Arab, they will not accept that. So look, Muhammad, now supposedly he is not being racist. Look what he said. The Prophet said, listen and obey your chief, even if he is an Ethiopian, and even if he is, as you see, I don't want to say it. Do you see it? They say to us that Islam is not a racist cult. 
but isn't this is what Islam teach the Quran chapter 3 verse 110 you are the best of mankind and they put between two bracket the benefit of mankind it doesn't say by the way that this is their fabrication now okay how the Muslims are the what is the benefit of Muslims for mankind read with me carefully the best for mankind are those who bring them bring who bring the, the mankind and the chains are around their necks so the Muslims are the best mankind because they would enslave us all of us Asian white black Hindu you who it doesn't matter this is what make Muslims the best of mankind because they will bring us and the chain around our neck the Muslim they will say to you this is a this is a weak hadith this is Sahih Bukhari my friend this is as you see Sahih Bukhari very number six hadith book number 60 hadith number 80 that is the truth Islam teach Muslims that they are the best of mankind and their duty is to enslave us all of us and yet they make articles saying that racism and etc and by the way all the slaves who came to the West are captured by North African Arab all of them they capture a, a, a black African from the middle of Africa and they bring them to the port of Benghazi, the port of Morocco, the port of etc. And then the white man go there and do shopping, evil shopping, and he buys slaves. So they mentioned to you that, do you know what the American did? But they will not tell you where they bought their slaves from. All the slave of Africa is coming from North Africa, Libya, Morocco, Tunisia, Algeria. And there is history you can go and read educate yourself so why I want to believe in this religion in the top of that Muhammad he claimed that the best of the the best of mankind is him and the best of the family of mankind is his family Allah he chosen from mankind groups the message of Allah said indeed Allah has chosen Ishmael from the children of Abraham and he chose Bani Kinana a tribe from the children of Ishmael and he chose Quraysh as a tribe so Allah he do nothing but a choosing and he chose what people Messenger of Allah said, Allah, He created the creation. And I am the best of the creation. But He is from the best of the best. And here, by the way, look, it says, and the best are two category. They put between two bracket Arab and non-Arab. But that's, that's a big fat lie. Where you get this from? You see how they try to fool you? The best are two category. You just said there is best people. Uh, let us say there are three categories. I don't care. You just said there is the best people. That is discrimination. You just said there is a group of the mankind. They are the best. Yet they say to us, that's not true. Muhammad he said that the most person Allah he hate is a black man why he is not white man what happened 
This is the most person Allah he hate in the world. Yes. Read it. The most hateful among the creation of Allah is one black man. Why is black? The devil is black. The angels are white. All Muslims, Allah will make them white in the heaven. Before they enter heaven, everybody, everybody, Allah will make him either white or black. The bad ones, Allah will make them white. And the which means the believers, Allah will make them white, and the non believers, Allah will make them black. And this is can be found in chapter 27, verse number 82. And this is the interpretation of Ibn Kathir. You can read it. He will make their faces black. Let us see. The beast will come and he will make a black spot in your face. Let us read together. This website have a problem with the text. It's so small and I cannot make it bigger. I don't know what to do. Uh, when, I, when I zoom in, the page gets big and we, we are out of control. So it says here, there's a beast will come from the ground sent by Allah and he will have the ring of Suleiman and the, and the staff of Moses. Okay. And it's going to hit the non -bil disbeliever and will make a spot in his face and that spot will spread until his face is black as a result. And then people when they sit and he would do the same to the Muslims. There would be no believer without making a white spot in his face, which would spread until his face is shining white as a result. And there will be no disbeliever left without making a black spot on his face, and uh, it's going to spread in his face, and as a result, it's going to turn black. And then when people, they come to trade, they say, oh, believer, oh, disbeliever, how they knew believer from disbeliever from the color. All believers are white or disbelievers are black. And yet they will say to us, Allah is not and Islam is not racist. Everything in front of us say clearly that Islam is a pure racist cult. Chapter 3, verse 106. The day Allah will make faces white and the day Allah will make them black. <laughs> Do you see it? What's wrong with being black? What's wrong with being Asian? And why Allah will make us black and white based on our belief? Well, the answer is very clear. Muhammad, he said from the beginning, when Allah, he created mankind, he created all black to go to hell and all white to go to heaven. And this is absolutely garbage. Jesus says, go and teach all the world. For God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. But the whole world, not the white, not the Middle Eastern. He loved the world. That's what the Bible says. Go and teach and preach and baptize all nations. 
in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. There's no black, there's no white. The Bible says there's no Greek, there's no Hebrew. There's no slave, there's no free. All is one by Jesus, by Christ. We are united by him. So right now I have tons of thousands of brothers and sisters in Indonesia, in Asia, in Philippines, in India, and in Africa, and all of them, they are here with us. I mean, those who follow us, follow our work. If there is any one of us is better than the other one, is there, is there, if there is somebody, am I better than you because I'm an Arab? In, according to Islam, yes. According to Islam, because I'm an Arab, I am from the best of mankind. The Quran even says that this is an Arabic book for the Arab. If you go in the Quran, it says, we send this book in Arabic lecturer so you may understand. Which means any other language will not be enough to only, only the Arab language is the smart one. The rest are stupid. If this is a book for all mankind and Allah says we send you the Arabic, the, the Quran in Arabic so you may understand. That means if he send it, that's mean Allah, he choose and he favor the Arabic language. And you will see a Muslim in Indonesia saying Shahada in Arabic, but you do not know even what he's saying. Why? Because Allah, he favor Arab and Arab Arabic language. And now you see a poor Muslim in Indonesia. He say Bismillah He is just a recording machine. He don't know what he's talking about. You ask him one question about Islam. He, you know, he break all the eggs he have. His tongue will be left up and will come from his nose. He have no idea what to answer. Allah is the God of the Arab. This is this is Arab religion, Arab law. And we relieve, we reveal to you a law in Arabic. So why in Arabic? Why is why you keep talking about Arabic, Arabic, Arabic? If Arabic, if a language is not important, hmm? Even Allah is proud that he speak Arabic supposedly in a plain Arabic speech By the way the funny the Quran says that the Quran is in a plain Arabic, but it's full of foreign languages Including the word Quran Quran is not an Arabic word We don't want to change the topic talk about different things. Don't ask me guys for questions. Let us focus on the topic So we're we're in Islam When they when they try to say to us Islam is for all mankind Islam is not for all mankind Islam is religion for the Arab and even the Quran says that Read it Muhammad is not a messenger for all mankind. It's just for Mecca and what is around it. And who live in Mecca? His tribe. And who around it? His tribe too. That's it. That's it. But when Muhammad he became successful. He, he never thought he will expand his business his corpora corporation Suddenly he wanted to be a prophet for all mankind in the beginning. He was just plain an Arab prophet For Quraysh So how this is can be a religion for mankind and by the way, I mean the Quran is a very very stupid book 
Muhammad in the Quran said, We never send a messenger except he speak the language of the tongue of his people. So, in order for Muhammad to be a messenger for people of Indonesia, he have to be Indonesian speaking. I don't know how many languages in Indonesia they have. I think it's a big nation. They have many languages, correct? There's many ethnic groups in Indonesia. Indonesia is not one ethnic. So, in order for Indonesia alone to have a prophet, maybe they should have ten prophet. There may be twenty. I don't know how many how many ethnic group there is in Indonesia. Guys, somebody tell me. I'm not expert in Indonesia. How many ethnic there is in Indonesia? Based on the verse in the front of us, every ethnic a group, two hundred languages, seven hundred ethnic, amazing. So again, according to the Quran, Allah, he should send 700 Muhammad to Indonesia alone. Do you see how they lie to you? How Allah never sent a messenger save he speak the language of his folk. So in order to go to you, to be a messenger to you, Indonesian or, or Indian, India have like 400 uh, languages, I, th I think, you know. So in order for Muhammad to be, a messenger to India or a messenger to Indonesia, he have to be from the folk, not from all Indonesia, from a folk, whatever, like ethnic. They said there is 700 uh, 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 ethnic. So Muhammad, he can be only to one ethnic out of the 700, and he have to speak their language, and he have to be one of them. So how Muhammad is a prophet for all mankind? Somebody saying Indonesia have 742 languages. By the way, I speak uh, Indonesian very, very well. Lapuk. Muhammad was Lapuk. The Quran is Lapuk. In India, we have 1,600 1, languages. There we go. So how we can match this Quran with what Muslims and Muhammad claim? <coughs> Uh, Rahma is asking what Lapuk. Sorry, I cannot teach you Indonesian. Now come tomorrow. Yeah, Muhammad is expired. This verse cannot be true. This is expired verse. How you say to us, Muhammad is for all mankind, for the black, for the white. Okay, name for me, a messenger was sent for the black, he's a Muslim. Who's a Muslim on a name for me? A Muslim messenger was sent to the black. Why all the 25 names of prophets in the Quran, all of them, they are white? Any Muslim can tell us? There's 25 names of prophets in the Quran, all of them, they are white. Uh, there is a guy his name. I don't know Okay, I don't know As long your name. I don't know. I don't know you too This is a place for adult not for kids Let your dad talk to me So as you see this is a very bad cult and you as an Asian you should not belong to such a cult And by the way, I mean you should not be proud to make me a leader for you just because I'm an Arab. I run away from, from where I came from because it's the most corrupt people ever I met. The judge is corrupt, the police is corrupt, but everybody speak about God every day, from the morning at night to night. All of this, all of us speak Arabic. All of us, we are Arab. All of us, we say Allah. Allah, 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 Alhamdulillah, MashaAllah. But the most corrupt nation ever, If you don't believe me, go and check a human rights record about them. I mean, why Islamic nations, they are so bad in human rights if they are not racist? Because oppression is racism.
you oppress a group of people for a reason go and see how they treat you as an Indonesian in Saudi Arabia just because you're Indonesian you will see uh, I don't know if there's any of you who work in Saudi Arabia you will see a nurse she came from England she her salary is seven eight times more than doctors who they have a high degree from India just because they are Indian and the doctors from India doctors not I'm talking about normal like I mean those are highly educated they put them in like five six doctors in one apartment the nurse she have a car a driver because she's white and she's from England go and see how employees from India how they live from, from Indonesia they put them in shelves in the top of each other in a room have no air conditioning in a place where degree is 50 degree where people die from heat just because they are Asian as simple as that this is the truth go and see 1200 Indonesian female went missing in Saudi Arabia to the point so the, the, the government of Indonesia in a certain point stopped sending females to Saudi Arabia went missing how they went missing the cat ate them because you are poor who who's going to fight for you Trump the Trump is president for America let us see if one American went missing what will happen because you are poor because you are Asian because you are Indian because you're a Filipino who care they rape them they kill them they enslave them all kind of slavery and nobody care because you are poor and you are Asian and that is the truth what the Messiah said from their fruits you shall know them if Islam is a good religion let us see the fruit of Muhammad Muhammad himself he did not even free his own slaves the most famous slave Muslims they speak about brother do you know that the first slave who the first person who called for a prayer it was Bilal because he's a slave the white man he want to sleep who is the first one who will you know, open his eyes and, and wake up for him in the morning and scream loud why Muhammad did not order Abu Bakr what about Omar no he ordered the slave that is the truth when Obama was elected as a president for the first time ever in the history of Saudi Arabia a month after the king of Saudi Arabia he hired an Imam which is a black to pray in Mecca and less than two weeks they took him off because people they start complaining he wanted to show the American okay you choose a black African to be your president okay we are going to uh, put a, a black person to pray in Mecca now you remember and they put him there for a few weeks and they took him off so why a person Islam is best for the Arab because it make you supreme above others and Islam is religion of supreme they believe that just because you are a Muslim you are a supreme person to the point as you see Muhammad he says that the best of mankind is who is the true Muslims why because they enslave the rest of mankind and who is talking about who he's talking to the Arab who is who is around him the Arab who is Abu Bakr and Omar and uh, uh, the Arab you are the best of mankind and your duty as an Arab to enslave mankind and this is exactly what they did 
and now you worship and you pray and you cannot live without the name of Muhammad and you change your names you change your culture to fit with Arab cultures your clothing your names your food is decided by Muhammad and the Arab people this is why wherever Islam goes Islam practice what is called uh, I don't know what they call it in English like they, they transform things into Arab uh, 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 like Arabism I don't know if the word is correct so they have to erase your culture as an in Indonesia and Indonesia is full of many cultures I mean they have a very rich heritage you have to forget about it because this is haram you have to adopt the culture of the Arab your clothes is Arab your beard is an Arab your names is an Arab everything about you pray to Allah as an Arab that is the truth If you remember when the east of Timor, the people there, you know, they just because many of them they convert to Christianity, they made wage of war, they waged war against them, killing and etc. Thank God at that time there was a good man who was a prime minister of Australia, he saved them. Otherwise, all the Christians there would be slaughtered. This prime minister he saved them, and now the east of Timor they have their own country. Otherwise, they would be slaughtered to the end of them. You are fighting for the Arab man, defending the Arab man, Arab prophet, Arab God, Arab man, and you became a slave of the Arab man. No, this is not Islamization. It's about making you Arab. It's not about uh, 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 Islam. You see, Islam cannot survive if you take it out of the Arab thing. Did you ask yourself why you have to pray to God in Arabic and why the Quran translation is not accepted to be Quran? Because because that you, if you take the Arab out of Islam, there's nothing left. If everybody accept that Islam can be exist without having an Arabic Quran, like now, I can read the you know, the the Bible in for me in English, and I have no problem with that to consider it as a as a Bible for me. You can read the Bible in Indonesian, and you have no problem to consider it as Bible, as long the translation is good and you know and as best as it can be. That, that's fine but in Islam you cannot you have to pray in Arabic you have to speak in Arabic and don't speak by the way the, Islam does not care even if you speak Arabic or not you have to practice in Arabic So why you want to follow the religion of the Arab man who make you speak his language, force you to say words in the language you don't understand, a book you cannot read. This is why you see those idiots who claim to be Muslim scholars in Indonesia. We keep saying to them, who, wanna, who, who dare to debate me? Not even one of them dare to call me. Because they knew they, are stu they will look stupid. They are talking to an Arab, but they will say to him. They will look totally stupid. They will say to me, Bismillah, Lahim. You know, in the front of you, they play that they speak Arabic. A brother, a prophet Muhammad, he said, and they read for you text which is written in their language, but like uh, it sounds like Arabic. You know what I mean? Like I can type right now for you the Arabic language using Latin letters. So when you read them, it sounds like you are reading Arabic, but the fact you do not know anything about Arabic. What what the name of this guy? Uh, uh, last week we made a video for him. We made him shish kebab. What's his name? I forgot his name. Sunhu Sunhu who? The guy who made a video for me. We spanked him. Stupid idiot. He don't know anything about Islam. Right? Sunhu Munir. Yeah, even his last name is uh, became uh, an Arab. 
where are they the Indonesian scholars why nobody say hey I'm going to I'm going to call you and I will show you that no you know nothing about us now the Arab they don't dare to debate us the non-Arab don't dare to debate us okay who is going to debate us So my friend if you are an Indonesian and you are listening this is not a religion for you this is a religion of slavery you are a free man you are a free woman and not only that look Christianity you see in the Muslim in the Muslim website they try to put us down and they say Christians they believe they are children of God do you know what does that mean you just prove that you are a you are a bad follow following a bad teacher because if the church is if the, if the Christians believe that they are a children of God that's me we are all equal that's me Christianity teach that all of us we are equal what the Christian teach that all of us we are children of God and we are beloved by him what's wrong with that And look how Muslims, how Muhammad he answered them. The Jews and the Christians say we are the sons of Allah. By the way, it doesn't say we don't say beloved Allah. We don't believe in Allah. And his beloved ones. What's wrong with that? Allah, if Allah is God, what's wrong with Allah loving people? No, Allah He cannot love. Our God He can. So Muhammad he says to them, if this is true, so why he uh, punish you? What punish them? Where Allah is punishing us? How? Where? What does that mean? Do you see how silly it is? So Muhammad he refused to believe that anyone to believe that he is a child of God. So what are you? You are a slave in Islam. Even the idea of worship in Islam is based on slavery. The idea of worship in Christianity is based on we are children of God. This is why when we pray, we say our Father. So I am not a slave in Christianity while you are a slave of Allah in Islam. All your religion is based on slavery. You are a slave. Oh, so hold on. Muhammad is a slave of Allah. And you are a slave of Muhammad. It's a chain of a slavery. Whatever Muhammad he says to you, you obey. Have you ever heard of a, such a cult? Whoever obey, whoever obey the Prophet, he obey Allah. If you don't obey the Prophet, you don't obey Allah because the Prophet is God, right? Who, who so obey the messenger of Allah? He has obeyed Allah. That's it. The Arab guy, he have control on you. So to make it short, we as a Christians, or even if you are not a Christians, we believe that God He love everybody. Guys, does does the Bible say is God love the world? Is that true? He loved the world to the point he sent his own only begotten son. The whole world. This is not for the uh, Hebrew. This is not for the Arab. This is not for the Middle Eastern. You can go to John chapter 3. For God, He loved the world. He loved the world, my friend. He did not love a group, He loved the world. Allah did not love anyone. Allah only, He loved Himself. If you remember, when once we asked a Muslim, 
why Allah he made Adam commit sin because even sin according to Islam it was Allah who made Adam commit sin he says because Allah wanted to be known so he needed a victim Allah he needed a victim yeah he wanted to be known Allah cannot be known unless huh? unless there is a victim and that victim commits sin So in a Christ we are free by Christ we are children of God and with the promise of a Christ he said he and she they will be the same as angels while in Islam even in heaven you are a slave you are a slave you will be a sex maniac you will be addicted to sex you will be addicted to food you are a slave again because this is all is addiction when Jesus says in the heaven he and she they will not get married they will be the same as angels he mean that you will be free You do not need anything. You will live in glory with the Lord. You will never be hungry. You will never need sex. Because this is all is need. You see, sex is need, food is need. Islam increases your needs so you can be addicted. The same as a drug dealer, he give you drugs first time for free, second time for free, third time you have to pay because for the rest of your life now you became his slave. But first time it's for free, he's not doing charity. Second time for free, try it. He's just making a customer. And this is exactly what Islam is about. By Christ we are free. By Muhammad we are slaves. And ask any Muslim, he says we are a slave of Allah. There's a guy, he used to call himself the sword of Allah. He used to come and talk to me in uh, uh, in Patok. This is a long time ago. And he is an African. American he said something to me when he decided to leave Islam let me see if I can find the video of this guy maybe it will not be easy to find him Anyway, he said to me, like, you know, this, like this God, this Allah is like a lonely God who need a slave. Here we go. I found him. I found a video about him. Hello, guys. Peace of Christ to everyone. As you see, I am driving the Muslims crazy. Look, hold on. This is a very old video, by the way. Very old video. Let us see. Let us go. Let's see what this guy will say. <laughs> Just to serve it, to be its slaves. We're the slaves of Allah. What? You hate to be slave now? Are you? Yeah, he left Islam. He was talking about to be a slave of Allah. Hates things just to serve it, to be its slaves. We're the slaves of Allah. Oh, you know, I'm supposed to be submissive to this God. What what the hell kind of person creates things just to serve it, to be its slaves? We're the slaves of Allah. This is what this guy he said. He left Islam. What kind of a God this God who created things just to be his slaves? Slave of Allah. That's him. Poor guy. And he left Islam. 
And not only that, he says, what kind of God does God? Allah is a lonely God. He's lonely or something? This guy, he used to come to my chat and he have no idea what Islam is about. And then after that, he left. He left. Lonely God who need slaves. In different hadith, Muhammad, he said, let me find. As long as he mentioned the lonely Allah. He said this, look at this. Muhammad, he said, swearing by Allah, Let us read. Muhammad said, By him who is the hand is my life, which means swear by Allah. My life. If you were not to commit sin, Allah would sweep you out of existence, and he would replace you by those who would commit sin and seek forgiveness from Allah. So now we understand why this guy, the sword of Allah, he left Islam and he says, What kind of God he's is he lonely or something? Yes, he is lonely, obviously. Look. If you don't commit sin and ask for forgiveness, Allah will destroy you. So what the point of your existence? He need people to ask for forgiveness. He's lonely. He want to wake up every morning, see people bowing down, say, Breathe, Allah, forgive me, forgive me. You know, that's the point. But this is stupid. If you don't commit sin, he will destroy you. So committing sin is is a needs for Allah. This God is lonely. He needs you to commit sin. Life is boring. Imagine you are God sitting alone. There's no flat screen. There's no TV. In, and this is Allah. He have nothing to do. He hate everybody. So he know he have nobody to call me for love. They, they are not calling him for love. They are calling him just to ask for forgiveness. There's no love involved. While with Jesus, he said, they said to him, how we pray then? He said, say this, like this, our Father out of heaven. And the first thing Jesus, he taught us that we ask for forgiveness as we forgive, which mean we Christians, we don't receive forgiveness for a granted unless we forgive. And we don't receive forgiveness for granted unless we mean what we say and we do what we say. Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. Muhammad, he says, I swear by Allah, whoever says shahada, he will go to heaven. They said to him, even if he, if he is an adulteress and he is a thief, he said, even if he is an adulteress and he is a thief. And as you see, we don't, we don't say anything without Proven it. Why in Sarah Hawa in Zena? Why in Sarah Hawa in Zena? Let us find it. Here we go. Muhammad he said, I came to Allah Prophet, blah, 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 blah. And then he said, nobody says the Shahada, you know, as you see it in front of you, none to be worshipped, blah, 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 blah. And Muhammad is Prophet. And he says, if you say that, when he die, that be, die believing, except he will enter paradise. Just say Shahada, you will go to paradise. I said, even if he had committed illegal sexual intercourse and theft, he said, even if he committed such a everybody going to heaven, just say shahada. All, all what Muhammad need needs so you to worship him. Content, content sailor. Are you sure, Mr. Content Sailor? Okay, let's open the sky for you. Even though it's for me, it's really late, but 
Eh, we can't take you for a snack. <coughs> Here we go. Our Skype is open. What's your name, my friend? Give me your name. I will text you. I will call you. Text me. Actually, I just received a, a message from Brother David. He's asking me if we can join them in their podcast. I said, no problem. Anytime you wish. Any Muslim? Where is the guy who want to debate me? Fake news? So you made me go and open Skype. And I was hoping that you will do something and turn to be like you. What is that? His Skype is Black Gary Oak. Okay. Let us search for Mr. Black. Maybe this is the guy from Nigeria, the one who called himself Ultimate. Text me back, Mr. Black. I just send you a text. <clears throat> Are you there? I'm waiting for your invitation to accept. All right. All right. Hello. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. You are live on air. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll just meet you on the thing. Okay. I wasn't here for uh, that long. I only heard a couple of your claims. Okay. One thing that you said is, um, well, uh, first, I need to know your background. Are you Catholic? Are you? I like beef. What does that have to do with the business? Are you, you're Christian, right? Yeah, I'm Christian, yeah. Well, you know, when you made a claim, you said that Islam, uh, he said that Islam and everyone who says la ilaha Allah is going to go to heaven, which we believe. Of course, uh, we believe is in that Islam. But you, I, if you're, if you're a Protestant Christian, you believe that any. If you just, if you believe Jesus died for your sin, then you're completely safe, no matter what you do, even murder. That's false. For Protestants, they don't believe that. My friend, don't tell me. But we don't have something. It's called a Protestant or Catholic. We have the gospel. Well, show me where the verse says, okay. if you just believe and you go to heaven, that's it. Okay, you, you uh, okay, there are things called um, Protestant. You just disagree with that. Don't tell me Protestant. We don't you care don't here. There's nothing is called a Protestant. There's nothing is called we follow Jesus. We don't follow Protestant. We don't follow Catholic. We don't follow Pope. We don't follow Bishop. We don't follow a priest. We don't follow a man. We follow Jesus. So when you say something, Jesus said, Not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, which means God, God will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who will do his will. So you can say as much as you wish. I believe, I say, I, and you can shout, but still you will not go to heaven. Now, you're a prophet saying that anyone who says shout, just shout, say, I say shahada, I go to heaven. So what we believe in Islam hmm. is that if you say la ilaha illallah, hmm. uh, anyone who believes in la ilaha illallah hmm. will eventually go to heaven. Why? Some people Why? will spend some time in the, in the, in the fire, Why? in Jahannam. Hmm. And some people they'll spend some time in Jahannam. Okay, why? Why if you say why Christians. if you say that? So just you say uh, Shahada, you go to heaven. What if you are a hypocrite? If you're a hypocrite, so I mean hmm. if you're a munafiq, you're, it is, you're not one Islam. Hmm. The Prophet Muhammad said, hmm. 
انما الاعمال بالنيات وانما لكل امر ما نوى It's a good deed based off intention, and you'll be rewarded based off your intention. Okay, then I so want you. I want you. Okay, I, I want you. I want you to hold your horses. You just said to me that you, you, uh, uh, Allah He will judge you by your deeds, correct? By your intention, correct? No, no. Well, I'm. I said to you, yeah. Good deeds are based off intention. Okay. So you'll be. But rewarded according based according off to your intention. prophet, nobody have good deeds. Huh? According to your prophet, all your deed you have is 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 not your deed will take you to Allah. Or to heaven, so isn't no, it your prophet? Isn't it your is it, okay? Hold on, hold on. In Islam, do you believe that your deed will take you to no, heaven? No, you're making a red herring. Do you believe? Do you believe? This is a red do you believe in Islam that your deed will take you to heaven? Yes or no? No, we don't. The Prophet said no. So, but you just said to me, Allah will judge you by your deeds of your intention. I'm just, no. You ask me. Mm. What if I say la ilaha illallah and I'm not, I'm, not, uh, I'm telling the truth? Mm. I'm lying, mm. basically. Mm. And I'm saying to uh, I said to you that the Prophet has said everything you do is based off your intention. Okay, I, I get you. So, so, so now your right? intention when when somebody says shahada, his intention to go to heaven. So he's honest. Okay. So now his intention to go to heaven, but he go and he sleep around oh, yeah. and he sell okay. drugs so, and he kill and he rape. So still he will go to heaven according to you. Okay, so this is a this is a different issue. What is called in Islam, but we believe different from Christians that if you harm another person in Islam, mm. that person will get their right on the day of judgment back for what you did to them. But he will go to heaven so anyway. We don't believe God forgives you for that. We but, don't believe. But he will go to heaven. If you, but you will no, go to heaven. If you uh, harm another person, my friend, when is it harm? Okay. Is it a harm? To, is it a harm to steal? You? Is it a harm to steal? The, the the hadith in front of you. It says, even if you you're commit, you're even if he's a well. thief, you're poisoning the well. Huh? You asked me to come over here, and I came, and then you're not even letting. You no, know, actually, I asked you. I asked you. I'm gonna be fair there. We are making. A we are having a conversation. Not one. Not not one person talking. I'm I'm not stopping you from talking, my friend. It's a conversation. So I'm I'm going with you. So you said if you do harm, if you do harm, Allah will take his revenge from him. Okay, no problem. But he will go to heaven, correct? Mm -hmm. He still uh, he still will go to heaven. You you have to ask a scholar uh, on whether or not like. Like murder, example for example, murder. Mm -hmm. I don't, uh, Allah says in the Quran that whoever commits murder is going to go jahannam forever. So, uh, uh, like, jah like la la la. So, like, uh, murder. Mm -hmm. You have to ask a scholar whether or not like murder and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Because I know if you, like if you like harm another person, mm -hmm. you're going to be punished for those things mm -hmm. for uh, for the amount of time that like you're. It's like going to jail. Okay. You're okay. The, is a, is a, is a, is a murder. Is a murder when somebody commit a murder? Did he commit a murder by his choice, or Allah he forced him to commit a murder? So we believe in father, and we also believe in free will. My, so question, we my that no, my question so is very simple. My, my question is very simple. Don't tell me I believe in this and that. Just to give me the answer. It's when somebody commit a murder, we in free will, when, we some, also in when somebody when somebody commit a murder, is that a choice he make or not? Of course, it's his, it's his choice. Okay, so your Quran is a lie because the Quran says the opposite. Yeah. That's why I'm trying. Like uh, I was trying to give you a more nuanced answer. No, no, no. You cannot. Me. No, you cannot. Here we go. <laughs> Allah, He says that all bad things happen to you. It, it is Allah will. Nothing happened to you except by the will of Allah. All the bad things, specifically. Yeah. Happen. The says in the Quran that it's not that you have a will, but Allah has a will first. Okay. Give, the bad will. We are talking about the bad one. We are talking about the bad ones. Read with me carefully. All no. the bad things happen in this earth is by Allah will specifically. Nothing happened to you, but by Allah will, not your will. Read it. Okay. You, you, and Allah also says in the Quran hmm. that when, uh, well, well, what's it called? When, when, in Surah Al-Fajr, where Allah talks about uh, the man who basically, when Allah and takes away from him, he says <laughs> that my Lord has forsaken me. But Allah tells him that this is what you, you gave to yourself. So, uh, you you are not correct. My friend, I'm showing you a verse in the front of you. You are you are you are trying to avoid it. Chapter fifty seven, no, verse number twenty two. Read it. Chapter fifty seven, verse number twenty two. It says nothing bad happened to you in this earth. Nothing had nothing nothing happened to you, yeah. but it is the will of Allah. Yeah, of okay. course. So the will of Allah is to kill somebody. So if I let, let me give you an example. Mm. If I were to shoot choose to shoot you in the head. Mm. Unless Allah willed that to happen, it would not happen. Mm -hmm. Because I can't shoot you unless Allah says, No, Allah this, is not, this is not what the verse is saying. The verse is saying oh, that no, all no, no, bad no, no, things no, happen to you, it is Allah will. Allah okay, okay, let me ask you. When Adam commits sin, was it is his will or the will of Allah? 
So uh, what Adam, okay, Adam says, Allah, Adam, I'll tell you exactly what Adam says. Mm. He says, Ya Allah, I have wronged myself mm. and that if you don't forgive me, uh, I'll become amongst the losers. That's what he says in the Quran. Okay, um, this is not the question. I'm asking you, when yeah, Adam commits sin, said. I want to ask a clear answer. When Adam commits sin, it was his sin or Allah forced him to commit sin? Allah, Allah, are you saying Allah forced him to commit sin? Yes. Allah gave him free will. Okay, well, it's, you, you are a Allah, uh, sorry, you are you are a false Muslim. Here we go. I will show you the hadith your prophet, and you will see how your prophet explained that Adam is well, a victim. Hold on, hold on, gonna, hold on, hold on. They okay. asked him, Is it Adam's fault whether or not he goes to the like because he went to the earth because he committed sin? And he tells him that no, Allah wrote for him that he's going to go to the earth, and that, he, that Allah wrote that he was going to do this. No, this is not this, so this, this, this is not what this is not what the hadith is saying. Read with me carefully. Adam and Moses they have a debate. Yeah, I know. I remember. And Moses, okay. And Moses says to Adam, "Because of you, we are out of paradise." That's then, exactly what I said. Hold on, hold on. And then Adam he says to him, "Oh Moses, Allah who favor you, blah blah blah." And then he says to you, "Read carefully with me." This is your Muslim translation. Do you blame me for an action which Allah had written for my fate forty years before my creation? So can yeah. we blame Adam for his sin, or we blame Allah? No, what is no 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 oh my I literally have you right now. Mm. I have you. Okay, good. What did he, what did Moses accuse uh, Adam of? He says it's because of you you were on we're, we're out of paradise, right? Mm. Mm. Yes, literally exactly what I said. It's because of you were out of paradise. Mm. And what well, uh and Adam is saying that it's not my fault we're out of paradise. Mm. Allah wrote for me. That we're gonna go to paradise, no matter what. If Adam did not commit the sin, he would have went to he would have left paradise. Hmm. This is something that no matter what we believe. What is the happen. action? He because said what? you blame me for. He I, said you blame me for an action. You, you, he said you blame me for an action which Allah had written in my fate, which means Adam he did an action he did cause him to go out of paradise. What is that action? No, you blame me for an act. Yeah. So now, I'm gonna ask you right now. Well, what did Moses accuse him of? Accuse him, says, accuse him of you, doing, accuse him of, of you, accuse him of doing, doing, doing an act made him go out of paradise. He did an act, and that act caused him to go of paradise. This is why Adam responds saying, "Do you accuse me of an action which Allah He wrote for me before my creation, forty years before my creation? So what is wrote for him? The action. What is the action? His action, not the action of Allah." Action of Adam, it's what caused him to go out of paradise. Adam is not, uh, Moses is not asking Adam why he left paradise voluntarily. No, that's what he said. All of us, we knew he, that Adam, he commits sin. I'm sorry, man, but you read this for yourself. You said, it's because of you were out of paradise. Hmm. And Moses said, you blame me for an action that Allah has written in my feet hmm. 40 years before my creation. Okay, Allah, he wrote the action for yeah, Allah or, or wrote it for, for Adam. Him. Allah wrote the action to do for Allah yeah, or Allah the action. Listen, the action written to be done by Adam or written to be done by Allah? Huh? <laughs> the action you are talking about is written to be done by Allah or to be done by Adam? So, okay, you have to, it depends upon which action we're talking about. The action. Don't tell me it depends on what action. We know what action. Adam commits sin. Adam commits sin. Adam commits okay. sin. And Allah, he says to him, get down of it because he commits sin. This is what the Quran says. No, the Quran says because uh, when we believe in Islam that Adam just did it out of forgiveness that it wasn't that Allah forgave him immediately because he didn't do it because he wanted to commit a sin he did it because he was forg forgetful that's what Allah says in the Quran so Allah he forgives sin and he kick you out of heaven because he, you know <laughs> oh, no. um, okay let us see let us see the Quran let us see everybody will laugh at what you said my friend here we go this is the Quran this is the Quran chapter 2 read 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 chapter 2 chapter 2 Chapter two. My friend, you, I will let you respond. Way. Chapter two, verse number thirty-six. Read it. Huh? Chapter two, verse number thirty-six. Read it. Uh, you have the verse number thirty-eight up. I can't see it. Why? Open your Quran. Huh? No problem. Open your Quran. Chapter okay. two, verse number thirty-six. I, I, I see now, but Satan causes them to deflect their from and uh, to, and to deflect their from and expel them from the happy state in which they were. And he said, "Fall down onto uh, uh, of you, fall onto uh, the others. There shall be." F this is talking about Iblis. He said to them, all of them, all of them, Iblis, Iblis, all of them. He says, "Ihbutu." I speak Arabic. I'm an Arab. So he said to him, "Ihbutu, Ihbutu." All of them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. So he, because he commits sin, Allah kick him out. So why are you lying to me? 
No. He committed by out of forgetfulness. What forgiveness? He, he, he right away he commits sin. So what if so he said, okay, I I, I I go down because you commit sin. It's in the front of your eyes because Shaitan he caused them to do sin. Allah he says to them, go down and look how funny you are. You are saying to me. He said that no. to Shaitan. Hold on. A second ago you said to me. A second ago you said to me. Allah he's saying that to Shaitan. Showing us that you are a fake Muslim, you do not even know how to understand the Quran, or you are lying to us, hoping that I don't speak Arabic. So here it's why you said to me, why why you said to me a second ago, Allah He said that to Shaitan, not to Adam and Eve. A second ago you said that. Why you said that? He says, We said fall one of uh this is fall down one of you. One, what one of you? One of you, a foe onto the other. Yeah. Okay, I, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. I mean, okay. I so Allah, okay. But, so you see, okay. So after Allah, He sent him down. It says Allah, He received word from God and He forgive him. This is after after He said to him, get down. Yeah, why did and Allah says in the Quran? I'm, I'm gonna pull up the verse right here. Where okay, the says, verse in the front of us, verse number 37. So Adam was forgiven for his sin after he was out of heaven, not before. Adam received from his Lord of Revelation. Uh, uh, Relented towards him, lo, he is relentful, the merciful. Okay, Adam. Uh, let me ask you. Let me ask you about yeah. about the story. Okay, hold on, hold on. So, uh, uh, according to you now, that the action which is written in the hadith, I want to go yeah. back to, to zero because we, we, you 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 are trying to confuse it. The action here, which is going to be done, which is written forty years before the creation of Adam, that an action Allah should do or Adam should do. Okay. I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened mm. before when Allah went to create Adam. Mm. He says, he says to the angels, "This is in the Quran. Let us create a creation that will be that will be successors on the earth." Mm. And then the angels ask Allah, "Oh, oh are you gonna create something that's gonna cause corruption?" Mm. Allah says, "In the Quran." So Allah tell, uh, created Adam mm. and um, mankind in order for them to be mm. successors on the earth. Mm. Moses says to Adam, "It's because why?" And what? Oh, he he blames Adam for the action. What action? Ha what action? The action that we are now on the earth and we left paradise. And then what is the action? What is the action? What the action is? What is the action? That we left paradise. No, no, no. no this is not action. Uh, Adam, he did not leave paradise. No, no, no. Okay. Moses, so no, he cannot, he cannot blame Adam for leaving paradise because he did not leave paradise. It's Allah who kicked him out of paradise. Did he leave paradise yeah. willingly? Did, uh, did Adam leave paradise willingly? He like he said, Hey Allah, I'm going to go do hiking in Himalaya. He did not. Yeah, that's what Allah. Won. That's what Allah. That's what the Prophet Muhammad says. Where? That, that Adam Where? Won the, that's why the Prophet Muhammad says that Adam won the argument because Allah wrote for him, and that you can't blame Adam for this. This is something that was going to happen. No matter. It's what. going to happen. Why? Because this is because he committed a sin, right? Uh, whether or not he committed the sin, he would have been on earth. Whether or not, but but this is what yeah. he said. This is what he said. He said, "Are you blaming me for an action? Who is the one who did the action? It's Adam. No. So the action no, of Adam, no, no. the action no, of no, Adam no. is committing sin." No, no, no. Okay, I, okay, okay, okay hold on, hold on. Let, let, let us let us show everybody how how you try to fabricate. Hold on, hold on. If a baby he no. die, where he go? If he, if a baby he die, where he go? An infant, Adam. a Muslim infant. If he die, where he go? Huh? huh? Okay, uh, most scholars say the infants can go to heaven. They go to heaven. Yeah, the, most scholars say that. Most scholars. What does that mean? Yeah, you Muslims are confused. If a baby dies, mm. he will. Go, he'll. Um, what happens to him mm. is on the day of judgment. He's gonna say, "Ya Allah, you took me away from my parents on the earth. Ya Allah, let me be with them in Jannah." And if they are believing, mm. he'll, he'll. If they are believing, but why? Why, why he will God, not go to heaven? He I mean, he is a. He's a baby. Why he will not if go to heaven? Why he will not go to heaven? What Allah? This guy, he don't talk. This this what? kid is, is a one day old. He will say, "Allah, forgive me." And what what is that? What? He's a so baby. He, he's a baby child. He, he just he, he is born yesterday. He died today. Now he will ask Allah in the day of judgment. He says, "Allah, let me go to my family." Are you sure? Are you sure? That's nothing. J Jesus in the in the Quran. Okay, hold on. Well, you're Jesus a you're a prophet, Quran. obviously. You're a prophet, obviously. He is not a prophet, and you are the prophet. Here we go. You're a prophet. He says that you are lying to us again. Uh, Aisha, there's a child. He died. Aisha, she said, he is going to be a bird of them, the birds of paradise. Muhammad, he mm -hmm. says, don't say that for Allah created for those who go to paradise when they are in the lion of their father. So it doesn't mean if he commits sin or not. And Aisha, she made it clear that this child, he commit no sin and no reach the age yeah. of committing sin. So the child commits sin yeah. or not.
commit sin or not still Allah he decide who go to heaven when they are in the line of their father the backbone so your prophet saying it's a destiny it is not committing sin or not so you just you just said to me something very funny you said the child in the heaven and in the, in the day of uh, judgment he will ask Allah please let me go to my family but as I thought if you don't commit sin you go to heaven anyway let's no let's read that let's read the hadith. read it go you ahead go ahead Really, Allah's messenger uh, there is happiness for this child who's uh, who's a bird from the birds of paradise For it committed no sin nor has he reached the age when he could commit sin. Hmm. He said Aisha peradventure it, uh, it may be otherwise because God created paradise hmm. those uh, who are fit for it hmm. while they are yet in all their loins created uh, for Jahannam hmm. There are uh, who are go to Jahannam. He created uh, them for Jahannam. Hmm. Let's go down hmm. Okay Yeah yeah, so right here. Wait, do you have the heading of the chat of the thing? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, because it's a hey Muslim, it should give you the heading mm. that tells you exactly what it means. Mm. This is the heading. This is a child of a, a Muslim family from Al Ansar. He died, yeah. and Aisha, she asked, she said he would go to heaven. Muhammad, he didn't agree. He said he might go other way. Why? Yeah, so there's more of it. So it says every child is born. In the, so it says every child is born in the state of fitrah and the ruling on the uh, the death children of the disbelievers and the Muslims. So this, uh, like I told you, there's a difference of opinion amongst the scholars. That's why I said most scholars say. Listen, listen, don't, don't 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 tell me scholars game now. This is your oh, prophet. Right. The opinion oh. of your prophet is a supremacist when it's come to anyone, right? So you okay. Yeah. So your prophet oh, said it clearly. Your your prophet said it clearly. It is not committing sin or not. It is Allah decision he made before he created him, correct? Yeah. Okay. Of course. So okay. So okay. So Allah he decide for this child he might go to hell. Why? Huh? Why Allah so, he might decide for this child to go to hell? He commit no sin. Why he would go to hell? So this is about free will, like I said. Where the free will? The child he died already. Okay. So I'll give you an example. Mm. I'll give you exactly what uh what scholar named Imam Ghazali, what he said, hmm. he said, Al Ghazali is a kafir. Since when Al Ghazali is a person you take him as a Ghazali? Are you sure Al Ghazali you take Al Ghazali? I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't need to believe anything you're saying. You're, you don't believe in Islam. Uh, what, how, how are you going to do takfir on people? I'm not even listening. Okay, to okay, my friend, Al Ghazali told you this that your prophet said this. Your prophet said that as a ch the child, he died, he's dead. There's no other option. Your prophet said that if Allah will judge you by by what, like, uh, as long your mouth is, is moving, after that, that's it. Nobody, no intercession can feed you. That's it. Nobody can help you. So as long you're alive, until your life is taken away from you. Okay. So after life is taken away from you, if there is another chance. Okay. For Muslims, so I'll tell you exactly what Imam Ghazali said. If there is another. No, don't tell me Al Ghazali. Stop playing games. According to you, according to Islam, if there is a chance, if there is a chance after you die, Allah will let you ask for forgiveness. Is there a chance? Huh? After you die, if there is a chance that you might be forgiven by Allah. Uh, by asking yeah. Allah for forgiveness, if there's a chance, no, Allah can forgive your sins after you die. He he can forgive your sin after you die. Yeah, of course. So if I don't convert to Islam and then I die, and well, after I shirk. huh, for except for shirk. Okay, so why this child he will go to hell? Huh? We go back to zero. So why this child he will go to hell? He is a child. He is born of a Muslim family. So why he might go to hell? He did not commit shirk. Yeah, so, so yeah, what are you saying to me? What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? Yeah, 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 you So why the child will go to hell if you commit shirk only Allah will not forgive you this child he commit no shirk So why he might go to hell? Okay, uh, who says he's gonna go to Jahannam? My friend, your prophet said it clearly that he might go to hell So why yeah. he will go to hell you said to me Allah forgive not those who commit shirk But this is a baby. He did not commit shirk. He don't even speak uh, Can you scroll a little bit down? Mm. Just so I see that's the end of the hadith. Mm. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah. Because, uh, right, I, I really, I, I do want to stress on this point. Mm. I don't want to, what's it called? Okay. Uh, I don't want to basically go too much in interpretation of hadith because I, I haven't said My friend, stop hadith. playing games. Stop playing games. What interpretation for the hadith? The question is very simple. You said Allah forgive any kind of sin except shirk. 
So if yeah. you commit sin, even if you commit adultery, you remember you said that to me, you go to heaven still. Okay, so now this is a child. He's born of a Muslim family. And your prophet, he says, everyone is born as a Muslim. Correct? Yeah. Okay, so he is born as a Muslim. And he is born from Ansar. He is born of a Muslim family. Give me the reason for him to make him go to hell. So, okay. So there's two, the, um, these are the two opinions that I know. Of. Hmm. That the one opinion is that they're all, all children that are die, they're just going to go to heaven. Because, and, uh, or in the second opinion okay the first that, opinion hold on the first opinion is against the hadith your prophet saying the opposite he just he just a spank I Aisha for yeah. saying that and you are saying to me first opinion second opinion you must have don't respect your prophet by taking the first opinion you took it against what your prophet just said in front of you okay but, uh, you, you right here you, you're making an entire opinion on one hadith These no scholars, okay hold on let, let me get you busted final bust take this okay okay and then let's see how you want to play game now with this one. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. We will see. We will see how you will play. You're not letting me speak. You have a very. What happened? Me, I'm here. Okay. Let us see. I will show you a hadith and let us see how you can play with it. <laughs> so it says, Ibn Kathir said, with regard to children of the believers, there is no dispute amongst the scholars. Al uh, you take Ibn Kathir uh, against your prophet. Shame on you. Uh, Al Hanbali narrated, Imam Ahmed said, there is okay. no dispute. Okay, read, okay, read this hadith for me. Read, read this hadith for me and let everybody laugh at what you said from the beginning to the end. Go ahead, take your time. Right here, okay. Hmm. So uh, here, Imam Ahmed Ibn Hanbal, who is a gigantic scholar of a hadith. No, I'm showing you a hadith in the screen. Read it, and so everybody will love. By the way, Imam Ahmed Ibn Hanbal, who is a gigantic uh, scholar, when I I quote the Muslims hadith, he said they say I don't agree with it. This is Imam Ahmed. It's not from the Sahih. So look how hypocrite the Muslims are. When they want Imam Ahmad is a Sahih, he is a giant uh, Imam. When they want, they make him small like Mickey Mouse. Now read for me in front of you, please. Read for me the hate wait. in front of you. Oh, wait, wait. What, what are you saying about Imam Ahmad? When you want your Muslims, you make him so small. When you want, you make him giant. Is Imam, is, is, is Imam uh, 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 Ahmad is from the Sahih Hadith? He's, uh, the hadith. Is his book Sahih? Oh. Is his book is Sahih? Uh, I don't have the qualifications to make. To uh -huh. A second ago, you call him giant. Now he became small suddenly. You have a flat tire with you. My friend, stop he, playing he, games. Stop playing games. You, you, you do not know what are you talking about, and you are scared to make it to, to say something is going to be used against you. Read the hate in front of you. What you're doing, all you're saying is like, oh my God, this guy doing something. Oh, ha, ha. My friend, read the hadith, and everybody is laughing. Here we go. All your lies getting busted by your prophet. Read the hadith, please. No, you're read the hadith. Read the hadith. Read the hadith. Why you are scared to read it? What's what's the problem? Read it. I'm not reading hadith. Why not? Because I'm telling you what's I'm I'm telling you exactly what the scholars. No, here we go. I don't care for the scholar. Here, your your prophet, your prophet, your scholars are you you are you you are you are you are you are lying, and you're a prophet. He said your deed will not let you enter heaven. It's what Allah he wrote in the front of you. Read it and stop lying. Yeah, if I don't believe your deeds take you to heaven. Read it, that. read it. No, no, no. It's not only what you did. It's not only that. It is the deed which Allah he wrote for you will make you go to heaven. Read it. Yeah, we believe Which that everything you, that ever happened. What do you mean? Day, so okay, so 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 okay. So so what what you are saying to you were saying to us it was a lie. You what? said to what you said lie? you said to us we have a free will. We do. Okay, read the hadith. Then here we go. Read the hadith. hadith about what? Read it. It's what in front of us me? about the topic. About the about read, read the hadith about the topic in the front of your eyes. Read it, please. Okay, what I was I was reading to you, mm -hmm. which is on. Uh, it's right here, Sheikh Muhammad. Uh, no, read the hadith in the screen. I, how am I gonna read this hadith right here? Hmm. You already read it. No, I did not. This is a new one. This is a new disaster. This is a new disaster. I have endless number. Read it. And by Allah, a person amongst you or a man may do deeds of the people of Jahannam till there is only a, a, a cubit. What is a cubit? An arm. A cubit. An arm. 
oh, a cuba of an arm beneath, uh, beneath distance between him and the fire. But then the, uh, that writing, which Allah has ordered the angels to write, proceeds and does the deeds of the people in paradise and enter it. And the man uh, may do the deeds of the people of paradise. So there's only a, a cup bit of two between him and the paradise. Then there in the writing proceeds, he does not, uh, does the, uh, he does the deeds of the people. Now, we have to look at what the, the, mufass, the Mufassir is. <laughs> I mean, you are funny, man. What, what Mufassirin? Even this one need Mufassirin? Even this one need Mufassirin? Need interpretation? It's so clear. It says a person, he making a deed, almost he is in the door of the heaven. There's a distance of an arm. And then what Allah wrote for him, destiny, destiny. It's so clear. Stop playing games. Shame on you. Shame on me. We have to understand. What is we understand it's so clear it's so clear it's destiny it's not the guy is doing the deed of heaven all his life all his life okay and then he's almost in the door of the heaven which one which one which one will proceed that your deed hold on which one will proceed shut up you idiot liar i don't talk to kids get lost i have no respect for you you see i was patient with you to the end but that's it. This is extreme lying. There's no point of speaking to a liar. The story in the front of us is so clear. You try to escape the first one, the second one, the third one, even this one. <laughs> we need to read the, the tafsir. Even this one need tafsir. It's so clear. The guy is doing deeds. And Allah, he have, have deeds. The deeds which Allah, he wrote for you, as a destiny, it is what will decide where you go. Do you see how they lie? No shame. And this is a proof Islam to be stupid. Adam, he commit no sin. It was the sin of Allah. A child, he commit no sin. Not only that, Muhammad, he says, if you don't commit sin, Allah will destroy you. <laughs> So look how they fabricate and they try to get away with everything because Islam is a stupid religion. You see, I hang up on you because that's it. There's no need. I'm just wasting my time. I mean, how clear we can make it more than this. But a liar is a liar. They don't try. Are you, are you expecting this, this liar to say, I agree with you? No way. But the story, and I don't care if you are a Christian or a Muslim or a Hindu, the story in front of us is so clear. The person is doing the deeds of hellfire till there is a cubit, an arm between him and fire. He's almost there. Okay, so all his life is doing the deed of fire. What is the deed of fire? He don't kill Christians, he don't kill Jews, he don't kill Hindus. He's a bad Muslim. And then what Allah wrote for him, that is his destiny proceed and he does the deeds which Allah that is the action Adam was talking about you liar that is the action he says to him do you play me for the action which Allah he wrote for me when we showed you the, the, the hadith about Adam you Adam saying, do you blame me for an action written? Allah wrote for me. What, which I should do, not only, not only it's an action, which I should do. Let me show you, because the hadith, your prophet, he cannot keep his mouth shut. He made it clear that he should do it's an action he should do. Who he should do? Adam. Look how many times the story is repeated. Repeated. Hmm? Guys, read this one. Look at this one. Just to show him how he was lying. Do you blame me for doing a deed which Allah had decreed that I should do 40 years before he created me? Do you see it, guys? He did the deed. Adam did the deed. This is not about Allah. He decides for Adam to go to heaven or not to be in heaven. Adam, he did the deed. And this is why we are debating. And by the way, how Moses met Adam? I mean, I thought they are dead, both of them. <clears throat> 
And even your prophet, he says, the first one to be resurrected, it was going to be him. <clears throat> Why are you away? What, you want to lie more? You're just running away. You okay. never made a single, you never let me make a single point. No, there's no, no, what's simple? Here we go. Okay, does it say here, do you blame me for doing a deed which Allah had decreed that I should do? Okay. No, well, let me ask you a question now. Do we make a judgment in Islam by one single hadith? Well, so why your prophet is hold on, hold on, okay, hold on, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't care a single hadith to hadith, bring all the hadith you want. Here, your prophet, when he said, Do you blame me for doing a deed which Allah had decreed that I should do? What is the deed Adam should do written to by Allah for him 40 years before his creation? Um, before his creation, that he okay, Allah wrote down all of his Allah knows all of his actions. No, no, this is not the question. Born. No, don't, uh, don't play games. No, don't what, is what, is what is the deed? What is the deed Adam is talking about? What is the deed? What is the deed? Hassan, what is the deed Adam and Musa is talking about? Which Adam he says to Musa, Do you blame me for a deed which Allah written for me before he created me 40 years before oh, creation? Yeah, we read, you read the hadith. Do you blame me for for you blame me for deeds? Wait, let's go back to the thing, go back to it. <coughs> Okay. Do you, yeah, 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 here's it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Do you blame me for for doing a deed which Allah had declared that I should do 40 years before He created me? Hmm. So, <clears throat> yeah. So in Islam, like I uh, like I said to you, that uh, Moses he says to Adam, uh, "You deprived us and caused us to come out of paradise." So he's blaming him from leaving because of what you did. We're, we left paradise. And thank you. Thank you. Finally, yeah. he said, because of what you did, you just yeah. said it before you deny it. Before you deny it, you said it was the plan yeah. of Allah, etc. Now, Adam, yeah. he confirmed what Musa he said. He said to him, Do you blame me for a deed well, which yeah, Allah had decreed? Not about, not about a hide up and this, like, pick and choose everything I'm saying. Let me finish what I'm saying. Okay. Are you going to be the one of the Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> so Moses is saying, why are you not letting us go? Why? Because of you, we're not in paradise. And Adam's saying to him that it has been written before I was born that this is going to happen. How are you going to blame me for it? You can't blame me. And then uh, the Prophet Harrison says, says that he won the argument. He won. Adam is right. Okay. How he won? That this deed, the deed because he did, he, the, he deed, the deed, the deed he did to make him go out of paradise, it was decreed, correct? Yeah. Okay. Wait, uh, what I, is the what is the deed? Sin. We don't believe he's what we what we did what we believe he did is that he, he ate an apple because he was forgetful. Is that sin or not? Uh, I, I, I have to, I have to but, 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 and look how you change to, all your statement in the beginning. You said to me, No, this is not about the sin of Adam. You, you refused that. Yeah. You can argue about what I said before. No, you refuse. You refuse. And now, now you put yourself in trouble. So you admitted that this is about the sin of Adam. And the sin of Adam is not the sin of Adam. It's Allah's sin. Because you just you just admitted that Allah, he decreed to Adam to eat the apple. Yeah. Okay, so why Adam, why Adam is a sinner then? He is not a sinner. Why Allah, he make him eat the apple? How stupid this guy is. I mean, look at this guy. Look at this guy. This guy, he admitted that Allah, he made Adam eat the apple. And because he ate the apple, Allah, he made him, he, he need to ask Allah for forgiveness. Okay, hold on. So Adam, he asked Allah for, for hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, my friend, my friend, hold on. Adam, he asked Allah for forgiveness. Why? Because he ate the apple. But you just said, Allah, he forced him to eat the apple. So why Adam need to ask Allah for forgiveness? Allah didn't, Adam chose to eat the apple. What do you mean chose? A second ago you told me Allah he forced him. A second ago, just a second ago, it's recorded. Did I say that? Did I say that? You said that, yes. No, I said Allah wrote for him to eat You said Allah made him eat the apple. What's wrong with you? And this is what the hadith is saying. Do you blame me for doing a deed? I said to you, what is the deed he did? I said to you, what the I said to you, what the deed he did? You explained to me, you says he ate the apple. I said to you, why Allah did Allah make him eat the apple? He said yes. So Allah made him eat the apple, and this is what decreed to him. What I'm trying to explain to you is how we understand free will. What free will? What is the free will here? What is the free will here? Okay, okay. Now you're gonna ask me a question. You ask me where's the free will? Can I answer that? <laughs> okay, where is the free will if Allah he forced Adam to eat the apple? Okay. Okay, so what we say in Islam hmm. is that one that uh 
how we how we believe in Islam, how free will works, is that a lot. Answer is only about Adam, Adam now. Then, then you tell me about Islam. No, answer me about Adam. Don't no no don't don't, don't, don't get don't take me to the football stadium and say let us let us follow the ball. No no no, we will not follow the ball. Answer the question. How Allah forced Adam to make to eat the 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 apple and why? Okay, hmm. so I'm gonna. Do you wanna let me answer the way I want to be answered, hmm. or do you want me to answer? The don't way change you the topic. To I want to answer about this: how he made him and why he made him eat the apple. Okay, so I'm gonna answer the way I want to answer. Okay. You have to answer as we showed you in here. You don't talk about different thing. Well, I'm trying to explain. Talk about people. Adam. Talk about Adam, and then you can explain. No problem. Answer. Did, did Allah did Allah make Adam eat the apple? Yes or no? Yes and no. Yeah, yes and no. <laughs> Transgender. <laughs> can, I, can I answer the question? Abdul, don't play games. The hadith is so clear. It says Allah He decreed for him to do it. Forty okay. years. Do games. Adam have a choice? Are you are you are you saying are you saying are you saying are you saying your are you saying your prophet is lying? Are you saying are you saying your prophet? Are you saying listen? And you get one hadith and you're cherry picking everything. Well, I no, I showed you tons of hadith, not only one. You are a liar. I showed you at least five hadith. Now I'm asking you here what Allah He decreed to hold on one by one, Abdul. One by one, one by one. What Allah decreed to Adam to do? What Allah decreed to Adam to do? Can you tell me, please? What Allah He decreed for him to do? What He decreed for him to do? Mm. Allah says, uh, it says in the Quran that everything that has ever happened. This is another question. This is another question. This is not the question. This is not the question. What Allah decreed to Adam to do? What Adam he meant here when he says, Do you blame me for something Allah he decreed to me to do? The deed to decree. What is the deed he decreed to do to him or to, that he have to do according to, to the hadith? So, in this context of this hadith, hmm. they're talking about him. Hmm. Uh, uh, him going to earth because he, because this of is a deed? The, because of eating the, the fruit. This is the deal, you liar. You are the one who said to me he ate the apple a second ago. I we don't believe it's an apple. Who says it's an apple? You guys believe it's an apple. What? So what he who ate? What what he ate? We don't know. What do you mean you don't know? The the fruits in Jannah, the fruits in heaven are not like here. Huh? What is it? What is in the heaven and Allah? There's watermelon in the in the tree. What? What? It says there a, a shajara. It says, "Don't get it close from this tree." Correct. Where are you talking about? Where? Chapter this two, chapter two, verse number thirty-five. Don't oh, eat from this tree. Is it a tree? Is it a tree? Is that a tree in the heaven? Yes or no? Is it a tree? Is it a tree? It's it is, but it's not like our trees. Uh huh? Okay. Who cares? No problem. So when Adam he ate from the tree, let's say it's a tomato. No problem. So when Adam he ate from that tree. Is that what Allah decree for him, or it was his choice? Huh? Huh? Both. <laughs> well, can you let me explain now? Get or lost. No, I don't want to explain. Get lost. You got yourself busted already. Both. <laughs> It's both whether it's both Allah decreed for him and Allah and Adam agree <laughs> in the hadith just say do you blame me you idiot which means you cannot blame me blame Allah it's in the front of you stop lying shame on you Moses is blaming Adam Adam saying don't blame me blame Allah how you say both you liar the hadith about where you do the you do the deeds of hellfire and then you go to 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 the opposite direction is so clear. Still, you try to get away with it. It is the destiny, and this is why Islam is the most stupid religion. Because why? And I believe in Allah. Then, anyway, what Allah wrote for me wrote, wrote for me. Here we go. This poor guy he do the deed of hellfire all his life. And by Allah, Muhammad is very serious. He swear, a person among you, he may do the deeds of hellfire. Almost he's there in the door, and then what Allah wrote for him, his destiny, take over. So you convert to Islam, you don't convert to Islam. You pray, you don't pray. Who care? At the end of the day, what Allah wrote for you will proceed, and that will decide where you will go.
and then Muhammad continues saying, and he does the deed of people of paradise, and he entered it. Lucky guy, huh? He was spending all his life doing the deed of hellfire. Look at the, look at the unjust non justice, and then a man who do the deeds of people of paradise. Still, there is only a cupid, the poor guy, the poor guy. He joined ISIS, Al Qaeda. He do suicide bombing. He cut his private part for the sake of Allah, and then he's almost in the door of heaven. And then what royalty by Allah will take over? Proceed, and he go to hellfire. What a stupid cult! What a stupid cult! <clears throat> Do you see how they try? And he admitted, he says, Allah made him eat. <laughs> Allah made him <laughs> eat, the, eat from the, eat the apple, eat the tree. <laughs> and brother, this is you what you believe, it's not the apple, where is the apple? Where, where, the apple? It's not apple, it's what? And who cares if it's an apple or not? It's about disobeying God. The story there in the Bible is not really about an apple. Do God he care if you eat an apple? Eat an apple, eat ten apples. I mean that God will be very cheap if it's about an apple, it's about disobeying him. This is not about an apple. <clears throat> anyway, this is how the Muslims always they try to fool you, and you saw today and a great example of how they try to deceive. They play games. They, tr they do their best to avoid answering any question. Even though it's so clear. And then at the end, even though he admitted, already he says, Allah, he made him do it. He said that, that it's recorded. He can go. Allah, he made him do it. And after he said that, when I start squeezing hard, he took it back. Did I say that? You, you said that. You said Allah, he made him eat from the from the tree too. You said that. It's recorded. Did I say that? It looked like his, uh, his tongue is working by its own. He hired a tongue from different country. Gamers. Liars. And we are here to get you busted. Anyway, guys. Uh, I just received another message from brother David and look like maybe we can do it uh, I would join them with Sam Shamu brother Sam Shamu in Friday and supposedly this will be 8 p.m. so people in Indonesia they can join us that's a perfect time for Indonesia actually I choose a Friday so those who live in Asia they can uh, they can join us all right so I want to say thank you guys for being here don't forget to download the video immediately and uh, uh, always when a video is gone from my channel this is the easiest way to find it search for the same title post it in YouTube for the last 24 hours you go to filter you copy the title you go to filter you you know you go to filter you choose today last 24 hours and search and then you will find a bunch of good guys are downloading the videos and sharing it in their channels. And maybe it's a good idea to subscribe to their channels too. So always you will be updated. Or you can go to Patreon, my page there, and you will find the last video because I update the link before I delete my link. I update the link there. All right. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And with my love to all people in Asia, India, Philippines, and for sure uh, Indonesia. And I want to go to Indonesia, man. I cannot wait to eat rice. <laughs> I love Indonesian people. By the way, Indonesian people, they have a very good reputation. As an example, I heard that their women are really good ladies. I'm not sure. That's what they say to me. I have no idea. Don't judge me. <laughs> they said that Indonesian women, they are good ladies and they are uh, loyal and they take care of their house and their, you know, their family. Uh, they are clean they are neat uh, you know I don't know I mean I heard very good things about Indonesian people 
so so uh, look like this nation is a blessed and it's going to be more blessing if they follow the true God not the false teaching of Islam where you as a woman became just another woman in the house in Christianity my lady you are the queen of your house you are the only woman there no one else your husband he cannot play games he cannot change you as a change in his shoes he cannot use you when you are young and he dump you when you are old he cannot he cannot you are a queen respected and Jesus says that the man he is the leader of the house but he is the same as the Messiah who serve and he gave himself to the church and the women is the same as the church so the Messiah he made you equal to the church and the Messiah he is not in charge to enslave you he is in charge to serve you this man who is presenting the Messiah so he's in the house as a leader to serve the family not to be a boss this is a boss who serve the same as the Messiah he washed the feet of his Apostles and he said to them if you don't let me do it you don't belong to me I don't know you the Messiah himself he washed feet what Muhammad he did thank you everybody and may the Lord bless you all and they will see you again Christ is Lord and Islam is false and you can read my books by searching Christian Prince in Amazon.com, Amazon Spain, Amazon France, Amazon Germany. My books translated to many languages and more languages to come soon by the help of the good ones of you. Thank you and see you soon.